welcome to the Educator Spin on It. My name is Amanda, and we have two very, very special guests with us today. We have Sarah Monofsky, the author of one of our absolute favorite series, The Whatever After, Fractured Fairy Tales, ideal for grades three to five or advanced younger readers. And then the second guest I have today is my seven-year-old daughter who is going to be asking some of her own questions as well as readers and friends submitted questions for our author. So welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay. So our first question is, what inspired you to write this particular series? Well, I've actually had this idea for a really long time because when I was a little girl, um, my mom and I used to write fairy tales together. I actually have some of them here. Do you want to see them? Yes, please. Okay. Well, here is, can you see that? The little, is it backwards? The Little Red Riding Hood, Mummy? Aww. Yeah. And I would tell my mom the stories and illustrate them, and she would write it out for me, and I would draw them. And um, I just, I've always loved fractured fairy tales. I used to kind of mess the fairy tales up a little bit when I told them. Like, for instance, when I told the story of the princess and the pea, I didn't really like vegetables. So instead, I changed it to um, the princess and the m and &M. So I used to do stuff like that all the time, and it was just really fascinating for me to write about, and I wanted to write that now that I'm a novelist. That's good. Right? <laughs> How do you know which fairy tale to write about next? <coughs> That's a good question. Well, my four-year-old daughter, Chloe, has a lot of opinions about what fairy tale I should do next. Um, and so now she told me that I should do Beauty and the Beast next. She really wants me to do Beauty and the Beast. So that's what I'm going to do for, for the sixth book in the series. Which actually brings us to the next question. <laughs> Will you write a Belle, Tiana, Jasmine, and Mulan story? I hope I write all of them. Um, right now, I just finished writing Bad Hair Day, which is, guess what Bad Hair Day is? I bet it's a Rapunzel one. <laughs> You're right. So I just finished that one, and that comes out in May. And now I'm going to start the Beauty and the Beast one. We don't have a title for that yet. And after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll have to ask Chloe, which is the next one. What is, who is your favorite princess? Ooh, good question. Okay. I like all the princesses. Um, but when I was a little girl, I loved Snow White because she was the princess who had really dark hair and pale skin. So she was my favorite. Oh, and you look just like her. <laughs> Not quite, but I appreciate it. You just need the poison apple. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. What is your favorite book that you have written? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, for me, writing the whatever after the first book in the series, um, that first of all was so much fun for me because it was the first time that I'd written for, for this age group. Because before I used to write for 12 and up, um, and I used to write for adults before that. So I just loved writing for this age group. It was so much fun for me. So I would say definitely uh, whatever after Ferris Duval. Okay, so now she. I think um, we have a specific question about the actual stories. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Why did you say that the princesses on are on her jewelry box in the bidding of in the beginning of the story. You know what? I added that in late in the book. Like when I first wrote the first draft of the book, that wasn't in there. But then I thought it would be really fun for um, for Abby to be able to see how the princesses change. And I thought that would be fun to keep track of all the princesses. So that's why I added in the jewelry box. And can you write a book with the jewelry boxes that they have the original images of the princess? Sorry? It's okay. Oh, I think Hello? we lost you for just a second. I can hear you. Yeah, Ellie? Oh, let's say well, I really Okay, I really like the idea of the jewelry box though. It will would be fun to see if you come out with the jewelry boxes 
um, maybe at the end of the series that have all new dress and attire <laughs> for all, all of us to buy. That would be amazing. <laughs> I'll we'll have to talk to Scholastic about it, my publisher. I love that idea. I would love a jewelry box like that. Uh, me too. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway, sorry. Going back to the seven-year-old. <laughs> yes. Can you write a boy story with Abby and Jonna? You mean, well, I would love, actually, one of my things that I would love to do at some point is to write a story from Jonah's perspective. I keep imagining what would happen if Jonah accidentally went into the mirror by himself one night and where he would go. Um, so, I mean, he's obsessed with Jack and the Beanstalk, so I think that would be really fun to have Jonah go in there, but I don't have plans to do that right now, but maybe one day. But maybe maybe you can make a whole series of them. <laughs> would you be a reader? I, I love that idea. <laughs> but I bet, I bet Nichols would be like... Well, isn't Jonah... Is he six or eight? Sorry? Isn't Jonah six or eight? Yeah, um, oh wait, he's... Uh, I think he's seven. Oh, right in between. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he would do like a, the younger age picture books. Oh, that would be fun too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, going back to the question. Yeah, we're we're on we're we're done with the book questions for a second. She's got some personal ones, which of course, if you don't want to answer, you're welcome to not. <laughs> Why did you want to live in New York? That's a good question. Well, my husband actually went to school in New York, so he he uh, went to NYU, so I came with him. But I love New York. It's a lot of fun. It's a uh, it's a really busy city, but it's you know always it's always exciting. Here's another one. Just about a book, but a little bit more specific. Okay. Where did you write your third book? Where did I write my third book? Like place, like at the oh, you, like where 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 do I work? Like where do I do my writing? No, no, no. Where do you did you write the third book? Like where? Like the third book in the whatever after series? Yeah. Okay. What so, sound? It's a, this one, the um, Sink or Swim. Sink or Swim. Like, where, where was it? Well, I was in New York, um, and what I do when I write, actually, is I usually write with a bunch of other writers. We all get together, and we all have our computers, and we all work on our books. So that way we can, we can talk and ask each other for advice while we're writing. Um, one of my close friends uh, wrote this Stella Bat, Bat series, Courtney Scheimel. Um, and we write together often, and I write with uh, a bunch of other young adult novelists, and we have a lot of fun. I want to have a writing party. Yeah. <laughs> we decide. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So. Yes. Here's the next one. How, how many years old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 36. <laughs> I don't mind. What? It's already all over the internet. <laughs> Oh, she missed it. How old? Oh, I'm 36. 36. 36. Yeah. 36. Uh, you're um, two years older? Yes. <laughs> yeah, older than I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> now mine's all over the internet as well. <laughs> okay, well, I think you touched um, earlier on that you used to write for adults mm -hmm. and young adults. Mm -hmm. The next question, though, is... Um, from our friend of ours, yeah, yeah, I and she it. wants to know, do you think if you made this series into picture books, it would be appropriate for younger children? I think. Well, I think if I made it into picture books, then I would, you know, probably change it a bit so that it would be appropriate for the age of the, the kids who read picture books. Like right now, for instance, I've tried to read it to my four-year-olds, but it's a bit. For my four-year-old, it's a bit confusing for her, but I mean, I could definitely take the story and change it a little bit to make it, you know, so that she would understand it. Yeah, we have a four-year-old, too, so we get that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have two more very important questions. But the last one, the last one is my favorite. Okay, the last <laughs> one is my favorite. We're saving the best for last. Great. Is there any... Per particular bookstore or library that had your books available? Um, actually, you know what? Books of Wonder in New York um, not only has my books available, but if anybody wants to get a signed 
copy of Dream On, the new one, um, they they, uh, they are selling them right now if you, if you pre-order it. So if anybody wanted a copy of Dream On or of all four books in the series, I'm going to go to, to that store and sign them all on Hub Day and they will ship them. But I think you have to order it in the next two weeks. I think, I think that's what they're doing. Um, that's my local indie bookstore, and I do tons of events there. And there are tons of other stores um, all over the country that would have my that would have my books. I bet so. <laughs> well, I wait, think wait, 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 doesn't the Scholastic one. Hold on, hold on. doesn't the Scholastic book fairs have them on um, coming up? Uh, yeah, the Scholastic book? book fair um, I think has Dream on right now, and they'll have Sink or Swim um, in uh, next semester, like you know, in in January. So, uh, yes, you can definitely get the books at the fair. And also in the book clubs. The book clubs, um, not, not every month, but every few months they have, they have the books too. Okay. All right. And here is the last. No, no, the second. Second to last. last. Because this one is good. Oh, she already explained that one. No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead and ask her again. What did you use to write? Like she wants, I think she wants the titles. No, what do you use to write? <laughs> oh, oh. No, 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 I didn't understand the question. Used. U-S-E-D. In the past. Oh, what did I... Not in the past. Oh, Sorry, I assumed it was the past. You want to know my old books. old books. No, 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 no. She wants to know, do you write it out by hand or do you type uh, it on the computer? I type everything on the computer. I never write it by hand. I have horrible, horrible handwriting. Um, and so I type everything. And uh, I, I have a laptop now, and that, the laptop comes with me, you know, whenever I whenever I work, and I write on it, and I save my stuff, and yeah, that's what I do. Okay. So you pretty much use it for writing everything. Yes. Okay, mom. Question: How do you not get distracted by the internet? <laughs> uh, that's a good, you know I have some crazy work habits. Um, what I what, sometimes what I do like when I'm with this is going to sound nuts, but when I'm with a bunch of other writers, what we do is um, I'll, I'll put us on a clock of like 15 minutes, just one five, and that one five like those 15 minutes, we are not allowed to check email, you are not allowed to go on the internet, you are not allowed to talk, you're not allowed to do anything but work on your manuscript, um, okay. and then. I put us on, then I do another 15 minutes. In that 15 minutes, you're, we're allowed to discuss, you know, we can brainstorm together, you can check your email, you could get a snack, you could do anything you want. But so I alternate back and forth. And it sounds really small, one five, but it helps keep everything fresh and fun. And then that way you have really focused for those 15 minutes. Because otherwise, I'll check the internet and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll like drown in it for an hour and a half and I won't even realize that an hour and a half is passed. Well, and I think, too, that's a really good thing for, for kids, too, to set that time because if you have just 15 minutes to write and you don't go to distractions of TV or anything else and you just write, I mean, that's a phenomenal use of 15 minutes. Yeah. So I think it's a really great strategy. It sounds so strange. Every time I tell new writers who come, to, you know, who, who we write with, um, every time I tell them 15 minutes, they say 5-0, and I say, no, 1-5, and they all think it's bonkers, but it works every time. <laughs> I think I'm going to try your strategy. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Um, all right, for the last, last for, and last but not least. Yeah, last but not least. This is a toughie. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's your best friend's name? <laughs> My best friend's name. I, I, that's, well, I feel like I, I'm going to have to say Todd for my husband. Okay, what's your? Todd. Oh. <laughs> her husband. It's her best friend. My four-year-old would get mad that I didn't. And oh. my Chloe. And my Annabelle. They're, my family. <laughs> 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 Ellie's like, really? Family. <laughs> okay, didn't you hear? She said, friends are not family. She's friends are not family. <laughs> okay. Maybe she doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. She she must be a pretty nice lady, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight. That was and so much fun. Thank you guys for I, having me. <laughs> you're just an amazing person. I want to come right with you. How about you, Ed? Let me know when you're in New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be fantastic. Are you putting us up? <laughs> uh, oh, for sure. <laughs>
Bye. Bye. We have to bond with the baby, but otherwise, you know, yeah. definitely. <laughs> okay, well, we can't wait for your information or for your new books to come out. Uh, and then we will also put her information on where to purchase those uh, autographed books oh, on our website. And I'll link it under here on our YouTube at the Educator Spin on it. And we're so glad that you, all of our readers and yes. listeners and friends, um, could find out more about you. So. I hope you guys like Dream On. I can't wait to hear what you think. Oh my goodness, we are really excited. And I can't wait till the book after that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So keep your 15 minute writing and we'll read later. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much.